So as a dedicated iPhone user for 15 years, making the swap recently to my Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra was quite a big change. However, the more I've been using this thing, the more I've been discovering a whole fantastic swath of features that were never available to me on my iPhone that have made the change even more exciting. And one, I have to say, totally awesome feature that I've been playing about with lately is Samsung DeX. This is effectively a means of transforming my Samsung phone here into a full-fledged desktop computer. So what you're seeing here on this display is not Windows, even though it may look similar at first glance. This is Samsung DeX running directly from my Galaxy S24 Ultra so that I am able to sit down comfortably and use the features of my phone and the apps of my phone in this desktop experience. And as you can see, I have a keyboard and a mouse hooked up as well. What I'm going to do today is show you the setup that I have going and you can use this on most Samsung Galaxy phones, not just the S24 Ultra that I am using. And you even have a choice of having a wireless connection if you want to cast your phone to a smart display or what I am using, a wired connection. And there are reasons for that, which I'll go over a little bit later. Right, so setup wise, I have my phone. I have my monitor, which is a 4K 60 hertz monitor, 27 inches. And the one thing this has that is important for my setup is an HDMI port. And the hub I am using is this Ugreen hub. Now they have not sponsored this video. The reason I purchased this is because as you can see here, it has 4K 60 hertz capabilities on the HDMI port. And that's really important because without that, I would not be getting the most out of this display. One thing I will say, if you do want to use DeX in 4K 60 mode, you will have to download an additional Samsung application on your phone in order to enable that. But this hub is very simple. It does exactly what I need. I'll leave a link to this one in the description if you want to check it out since I can vouch for it. I know it works, but any USB C hub should perform pretty much the same. So you have the USB connection on here. This is going to go into my Samsung phone. And then on the side, we have the HDMI port that's going to connect to the TV with an HDMI cable. Make sure you're using a good quality cable. We have the USB-C pass-through port. So this will allow us to plug power into the wall so that our Samsung device does not run out of juice. On the other side, we have a couple of USB ports for expansion and also a micro SD and standard SD card slots. And on the end, we even have a ethernet connection so we don't have to run off wireless internet if we don't want to. Now you may be thinking, well, why not just go for a wireless setup instead? And there are certainly reasons for doing that. I think it is going to be more convenient to just be able to cast your Samsung phone directly to a smart display. There's no doubt about that. However, there are some drawbacks. First of all, you do need a smart display. I just have a standard gaming monitor here with no smart features or Wi-Fi built in. But I could hook up something like an NVIDIA Shield in order to give it smart features so that I then could connect over wireless. However, with wireless does come additional latency that you have to account for. But also using the hub that I am using allows me to connect additional peripheral devices. And in order to get the most out of this monitor's 4K resolution 60 hertz display, again, going cabled is just going to be the best way to take advantage of that. Now I've chosen for the purposes of the video to use a Bluetooth mouse, but a wired USB keyboard. That's simply to show that you can use either of those types of devices and you are still going to be able to get up and running. I also purchased this really cheap phone stand here, completely not necessary. You can just have your phone lying down on the desk, but I like to be able to see the screen up at an angle. So now to connect everything, I'm going to take my hub here. Let's plug in the HDMI connection from my monitor. That just goes in there. And then we'll plug in the pass-through power. So this is what's going to stop my Samsung phone from running out of juice. Then I just have a standard USB keyboard. I can just go ahead and plug that into one of the available USB slots. And then all that's left to do is to connect this USB-C cable to my Samsung phone. And then if I scroll down from the top of the screen, just about here in the bottom right hand corner in my case, you can see the DeX icon. I just click that 
and DEX is now going to load. There it is. I didn't have to do anything else in terms of setup. Okay, it has detected my keyboard. I did a one-time connection through my phone for the Bluetooth mouse. So now that is detected every time I turn that on. I have the mouse pointer on screen. And if I just go ahead and open the internet, for example, we can change dark theme on or off with a click of a button, start browsing the web, or we can start using all of the other apps that are on our phone, YouTube, Mail, Maps, Google Drive. If I head down to the bottom left-hand corner to all of these little squares, we can open that in order to access all of the apps at once on our phone. So let's say I wanted to do some video editing, I could go right ahead and open CapCut. And there we have it. I have effectively a desktop version of CapCut running now in order to edit with my mouse and keyboard on the big screen, even though this is running directly from my Samsung Galaxy. Likewise, if I wanted to do some desktop gaming here using my phone, there's nothing to stop me from doing that. I can even connect a controller such as this DualSense controller from the PS5 over Bluetooth so that I don't have to rely on using mouse and keyboard although mouse and keyboard will work absolutely fine on some games. Let me give you an example here with this game Hungry Shark. And right now I'm just using the keyboard, the W, A, S and D keys in order to control the shark. But this is just a brief example to show you that yes, you can absolutely do gaming on this. Call of Duty and other games as well have been fully optimized to my understanding for Samsung DeX. So they don't even use the mobile interface. There we go, I'm dead. And it's really easy to change settings as well for DeX. Just open up the settings menu here. And the first settings option is for Samsung DeX. So this is where we get various things we can adjust. For example, we could have DeX start up on our monitor display as soon as it has the HDMI cable connected. We can change font size, screen size. We can make adjustments to the mouse and trackpad. The mouse, for example, didn't start off with this nice vibrant blue pointer. It was quite a dark pointer, so I had to change that so I could see it better against the background. We can even use our phone if we want to use a touchpad if we don't want to connect a mouse. And we can make changes to the current wallpaper and the screen resolution. And we can make changes to how the taskbar behaves. For example, if we want it to auto hide when it is not being used, we can just enable that feature. And then we just need to bring the mouse down in order to bring it back up. Personally, I keep this turned off. I don't use that in Windows either. And there are a number of other features down here as well, which I might want to disable. I'm only going to be using English, so I don't need the language icon. I don't really need the finder icon active. I don't need the keyboard icon active since I am going to be using my desktop keyboard anyway, and so on and so forth. And because of the USB-C pass-through port that I have connected, my phone is charging the whole time I have this setup engaged. And don't forget, because I have this USB-C hub down here, I can still connect a number of other devices if I wished, including the SD or micro SD card. So I could always keep an SD card for example, installed into this. So every time I connect my phone up to DeX, I constantly have that additional storage that I can work with. Alternatively, nothing to prevent me from plugging in an external hard drive or solid state drive into the USB-C hub. That will be detected immediately by the phone, set up and good to go as an additional drive as well. There's just a whole lot of flexibility here. And it's one of the reasons I definitely am loving the Samsung S24 Ultra. Now, yes, you could absolutely wirelessly cast my iPhone to an external display, again, with some smart features if it has that. The only thing is it doesn't have a dedicated desktop interface that would just be showing me a mirrored image of my phone. And I did use that from time to time, but I don't think I used it anywhere near as often as I'm going to be using this particular setup right here. But folks, I have been thoroughly impressed with the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra up until this point. As I say, nothing sponsored about this video. I'm just sharing my experiences with you. Looking forward to delving in to see what else it can do, what other surprises it has. If you've got any tips, please feel free to share those in the comments. Are you going to be using Samsung DeX with your Galaxy smartphone? Again, just let us know in the comments and I'll see you next time.